Hello friends and welcome back to Picture Astrology. In this quick snap video, we will learn about placement of Saturn in the sign of Scorpio for a Aries ascendant horoscope. So when Aries, the very first sign of the zodiac rises in your chart, then Scorpio falls in the 8th house. So this video is also about placement of Saturn in the 8th house of a Aries ascendant horoscope. So when we have an Aries rising horoscope, Saturn becomes Lord of 10th and 11th houses. And that is because 10th house contains the sign of Capricorn and 11th house contains sign of Aquarius. And both of these signs are ruled by Saturn. And Saturn is placed in the 8th house itself. So 8th house, 10th house and 11th house will have direct effect of this placement of Saturn. Now Saturn is given some special aspect in Vedic Astrology. So Saturn looks at third house from itself, which will be 10th house in this case, but 10th house Saturn is also on or off. So it is a very good aspect from the work point of view. Saturn aspects seventh from its placement. So this will be second house of your family wealth, family happiness, the kind of food you eat, etc. And Saturn also aspect 10th house from itself, which will be the 5th house of your love affair, your progeny, your kids and so on. So you see one placement of Saturn can give great clues and ideas about a lot of areas of your life. And in this quick video, we will talk about top five items or top five things which you can practically see and implement in your life because of this Saturn. So 8th house, let's start with that. And first thing which any Vedic astrologer will tell you that 8th house is associated with your lifespan. And Saturn in the 8th house gives generally a very long life. People generally lives beyond 80, 90 and even 100 years are known to found this kind of Saturn in the 8th house. So from that perspective, it is a wonderful placement. But one thing to note, if you have this kind of placement of Saturn in the 8th house, especially in the Scorpio sign, is that please start saving money for your old age, starting right now. Whatever your age is right now, if you can, please invest in some kind of trust or some kind of fixed deposit or annuity scheme, you know, something which gives you some fixed pension after the age of your retirement throughout the lifespan of your life. Trust me, it is going to be very, very prudent investment from your side. You know, anytime I see this kind of Saturn and people ask me for any investment as wise, this is the first thing you should do. Try and invest in an annuity or pension fund and it will be great if that pension fund gives you money throughout the lifespan. It is necessary because as your life or age increases, the aspect of Saturn on the second house would increasingly call for some amount of fixed money coming in your way. And Annuity investment will be good for you because Saturn anyways has an aspect on the fifth house which shows among other things your investment. So however small or big amount you can, please start saving, either saving for your old age or better still start investing in some kind of annuity and pension fund if you have this placement. Now eighth house is the house of what I used to or what I like to call a spark plug. So to start any engine or any car, you need a spark plug, which gives you the initial fuel or initial energy to kickstart your life. And once your engine has started, then you need a fuel tank. Then you need your own energy to continue on. So the fuel tank, your complete energy, that is shown by your first house your ascendant. So because you have Aries as the ascendant, which is owned by Mars, 
this shows that you have a lot of fuel you have a lot of life energy to go on but the spark plug something which you know triggers you that placement is saturn and saturn generally is known to be slow and steady planet it is not like a martian planet which will always be on saturn needs to be pushed so this is a very typical personality trait of the saturn that these people could be slow to start they might need some push cajoling pleading sometimes you know or even threatening to get going in life but once they start going they will have enough fuel enough energy to go on so try and be self starter you know don't wait for others to push you try and take your own initiative that is one thing which this placement of saturn you know literally cries for if you can work on this you can really reach newer heights in your life now one more important aspect of saturn in 8th house that it is generally known to give a very stubborn personality person who you know has the motto of my way or the highway that is what this saturn can make you so please be very very aware of this because being stubborn in a good way is good you know being stubborn meaning you don't leave sight of your goal you work very hard to achieve your goal you know be stubborn in that but if you become touchy you know small small things starts bothering you you just want everything to be done you know just the way you want then it can lead to problems in life so if you have this placement and if you see this my way or the highway kind of behavior or personality trait uh, personality trait growing in your life then please keep a check on that because this can adversely affect your work life as well this saturn has a direct aspect on the 10th house and saturn is lord of the 10th house we saw 10th house is the capricorn sign and capricorn is owned by saturn himself so saturn aspecting the 10th house is very good as we saw once you get started once your spark plug turns on then you will be very diligent in your work and slowly but steadily you can reach great heights as well however if this saturn makes you stubborn you know if you have this my way or the highway kind of attitude then because of saturn's placement in the 8th house you can see many changes in your work life so please try to you know keep a little flexible bent of mind and don't change your job uh because of small small things yes there are going to be uh, situations in life where for practical purposes you change your job you change your job because you are finding better raise you change your job because you are getting to really like or or do what you really like to do you know changing job uh, for those kind of reasons is great but try not to change jobs just because you just don't like somebody or because somebody you know said something in a spur of moment try and be little bit reasonable on that front and if you can cultivate that habit this aspect of saturn in the 10th house can really take you places when it comes to work life so my dear friends this was my quick analysis of saturn in 8th house for aries ascendant i'm going to stop here as i said in the beginning there are so many other things we can talk about or learn about but i'll cover them maybe in a detailed video later for now Thank you so much for being with me and watching this so far. I really hope you like and subscribe to my channel so that you continue to receive more updates like this. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.